Hi, welcome back to Air Ranging Research. For you new viewers, this is a channel where we are working on trying to develop a compressed air engine that we can put directly into a vehicle and drive it as you would with a gasoline engine. But for now, the reason I want to do today's uh, video is I'm having a problem with the oval air engine, the valving on it. That's something that I've had problems with in the past, but pretty well thought I had it taken care of. Uh, with the design, the intake has an O-ring in it and a ball valve that is used to seal the intake and whenever I get into a higher pressure trying to use it, I discovered that the O-ring gets sucked into the opening and you lose the seal. So I have to redesign that in order to take care of that problem. And in so doing, I've decided also to use a, a two-part system rather than a single cylinder and valve combination. The valve will be bolted on top of the cylinder. Oval engine seems to be running pretty well as I'll show you in this short video. This is the new cylinder that I made. It's more compact and it's a little bit longer, so it has more piston support. And the valve sits on top of the cylinder. The connection you see on the front of the valve, which is sitting on top, is the air inlet. And down over on the lower right is a hole. That's the exhaust port. There's one on each side to give it more exhaust. And this is the other side. And right now I only have two of them hooked up and I'm thinking maybe I'll have to make another one to give it a three cylinder and then adjust it so that it runs on two cylinders once it's going and three cylinders to start out. Or when you need more power possibly. It seems to get a little more RPMs than what it did with the other valve system, so maybe it's because I'm able to adjust the valves a little more accurately now with being able to move them around on top of the cylinder to get it in the right position on the, the camshaft or on the cam. So anyway, that's how it is right now. I'll let you see how it runs in just a second here. I've just got it hooked up with air hose in my air cell and the air compressor right now. So just the air compressor is what's feeding it. I just wanted to add a comment to the end of this video and show you what the other cylinder and valve combination was like to make. First off, as you can see, I ended up having to drill 17 different holes in that one block. And then I would have to end up putting plugs like these two here, and this is over here. So five plugs, two there, two on top, 
and one up in the back in order to block off the excess holes that I didn't use. And it was a lot more time consuming and complicated. And you can see it's it's a lot more involved. So for now I'm going to go ahead and sign off and Thanks again for checking in. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit and I'll keep you posted.